unfortunate that it's um, come coming to an end. And today's the official announcement of my retirement, um, effective immediately. Um, Hey guys, Luke here, and Mondays are usually reserved for my weekly recaps of the NRL, but today we're going to be doing a different video. Greg Inglis has announced his retirement, and not only announced his retirement, but it's immediately. Now, I was kind of expecting it to maybe be at the end of the season, but he's announced his retirement immediately. Am I shocked? No, I'm, I'm not shocked. I think everybody kind of knew he was going to retire. I thought, like before the season started, I thought that this would have been his last year. Um, I didn't expect that to happen right now, though, obviously. Uh, but going into the season, there was a lot of talk. I remember all the papers saying, you know, he was overweight or whatever. And then they came out and rubbished it. I think Inglis himself rubbished it. Wayne Bennett rubbished it. And I thought, oh, okay, he's good to go for the season. Obviously, he didn't start the season. He hasn't played a game. And now he's retired. So injury just unfortunately caught up with him. But what a career he had. On his day, you can make an argument that Greg Inglis is maybe the best of all time. I mean, obviously, he doesn't have that consistency that, you know, your Cameron Smiths and Jonathan Thurston's and stuff had. But, I mean, in terms of, like, ability-wise, he had the ability to just destroy a game. Like, he's kind of like Tom Lalo in the sense, well, obviously different positions than that, but in the sense that he can win a game purely on his own, just from a miracle play. We saw his try, I think it was against Brisbane. Oh, what a try it was when he moved to fullback now. It's funny, he's played so many different positions as well. When he came in, I think he was 18 when he when he made his debut. I think 2005, I think it was. Um, you know, he, I think he started on the wing, played a bit of center, or oh, a bit of center, played a lot of center. Uh, also won a grand final at 5'8 as well. Um, obviously played fullback in his later years, went back to centers. I mean, he can play anywhere. Like He just had that build. He was so athletic, really an athletic freak, to be honest. He... he could have legitimately played any position um, in rugby league. And it's one of those ones where we're kind of blessed to have had him in rugby league because he probably could have played a number of different codes. Um, like I said, just an athletic freak. Um, but yeah, Greg Inglis, one of a kind, really. Um, I know a lot of talk, there's a lot of talk about Latrell Mitchell being the next Greg Inglis, but there's only one Greg Inglis. Latrell Mitchell is Latrell Mitchell. They have um, kind of similar builds, but I feel like uh, Greg Inglis, he was just on another level, even at the same age as Latrell at this point. Greg Inglis, like, I think because it was so long, Ago, you kind of forget how good he actually was as a kid. Now, obviously, he started his career at Melbourne, and you know he had a great amount of success there. It got taken off him because of the salary cap stuff, and he was the one who actually got forced to leave. Um, I think he was supposed to have signed with Broncos. Something happened where. I don't know, there was some weird white reason he didn't catch the flight to go to Brisbane or something, and then ended up signing with the Rabbitohs, and obviously, with the rest is history at the Rabbitohs, I mean, he got them their first premiership, um, he really helped change the club, between him and Sam Burgess, they really took um, the Rabbitohs, the Rabbitohs were on the up for a quite a while at that point, but... Once they signed him and Sam Burgess, they just went to another level. And, you know, English was kind of that, uh, the last piece of the, the puzzle for them. I know it was a few years later that they would end up winning the premiership, but he was that, that star power they needed. He was bringing in players. He was just, Greg English is just such a good player. Like, I, I don't know if I'm putting into words how good of a player he actually was. It feels weird to even be saying was. Like, he's one of those first real superstars, um... I mean, like, you're Thurston and Billy Slater and stuff, but they were already playing. In the time where I became, like, a passionate rugby league player, uh, player, fan, um, you know, Billy Slater, Cameron Smith, you know, Cooper Cronk and stuff, they were already playing. I'm going to say, like, 2000 and 2003 was when I, like, probably 2002 was when I really started paying attention, but in terms of being a hardcore fan, probably about 2003, 2004, Greg Inglis made his debut in 2005. So he's sort of one of those first real superstars to have come into the game when I was watching it, make their debut, go all their career, and now retire. So it feels a little bit weird for me, but I mean, Greg Inglis is 32. He's no spring chicken. Um, like I said, I think everybody could see it coming. It was either thinking, you know, going to be this year or next year, or some even said he played too long. I thought last year when he played, he was actually still pretty good. Um, obviously, you know, the standard he set for so many years was very, very high. Um, but even when he played for Queensland last year, I thought he was one of their better players. I mean, I remember him putting some shots on. Um, he got to captain um, Queensland. Uh, probably unfortunate for him, he didn't get to captain Australia, but that was his own fault, really. Um, but, you know, I thought he was pretty good for Queensland when he when he played last year. Um, for Souths, wasn't that good. But, I mean, that's just, that's just age catching up with you, man. And, uh... He had a lot of injuries, and obviously the injuries got to him. He's had to retire because of them. It is a shame that he's gone out this way and not sort of on his own terms, but I'm glad he is retiring before... Well, he probably already has done major damage, but, um, you know, before he's actually, you know, going to retire as a crippled dude. Like, 
You never want to see that for players. I just hope that he's not too upset in the fact that he didn't get to come out and, you know, have those retirement games like Justin Hodges and Billy Slater and that sort of did. It would have been nice for that to happen to him, but obviously it hasn't happened. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But uh, I think Greg Inglis can look back at his career and he can be very proud of his accomplishments. Just looking back at it, I can't remember if he won the Dally M. I don't think he won the Dally M. That's probably the only thing he didn't do in the game. And I mean, you know, even the Dally M, it's, it's a bit random at that point. But I think at some stages of his, career, of his career, you can definitely say Greg Inglis was the best player in the world. Now, obviously, he didn't keep it up. Like I said, he wasn't necessarily the most consistent player. But he definitely, at, at points of his career, was the best player in the world. Even look back, you know, he was definitely the best center in the world. Um, when he moved to fullback, he was the best fullback. Um, you can even argue he might have been one of the best 5'8s um, when he played. Like, the dude, he, he was just so bloody good. And I really hope um, the people who didn't get to see him in his prime, I uh, hope, you know, he's one of those players you can, you can look up on YouTube and you can find, you know, his montages. Now, I know a lot of the time, you know, e even some of the worst players have a pretty good, you know, try montage or whatever. But, I mean, Greg Inglis, like, his really does reflect his career. He was very, very damaging. Some of the tries he scored were just... I don't know how he scored them. He just... I don't know how. That's the best way I can say. I don't know how he scored them, but he did. And he's got one of the best, like, highlights packages of any player ever. And I just hope that the young ones these days don't look at his last few years and go, oh, he wasn't even that good. No, this guy, he was that good. Um, would I put him in, like, a mortal status? I, I don't know if I'd, like, put him in a mortal status. I, I find it really weird, the immortal thing anyways. Like, I don't know what qualifies. But, um... He's definitely going to be in the talks for it, that's for sure. Uh, also, in terms of, you know, the Indigenous community is very good for that. You know, he was a pretty good face of the game. Obviously, he had some off-field um, incidents. Uh, I won't really go into it, but, you know, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of him, like I said, like, off the field. But you can't, like, you can't say he wasn't a pretty good role model for um, the Indigenous community. He was loved by the Melbourne fans. He was loved by the Rabbitohs fans. I think if you had him at your club, you definitely loved him. Um, seemed to be good with the fans as well. So, yeah, I don't really have too many bad words to say about Greg Inglis. Um, mostly just positive, and I think that's how you want to have it when you end your career. So, um, yeah, congratulations to Greg Inglis on a great career. Um, it's a bit unfortunate I have to make this video just because you would have hoped that he could have ended it on his own terms at the end of the season, but it wasn't meant to be, and, um, you know, that's just how it is. And anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Leave in the comments section below, what did you think of Greg Inglis' career? Also, while you're at it, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke on YT. My Facebook page is in the description below as well. I've been doing a lot more posts on that Facebook page. Let's go and add me on Snapchat as well, Mr. Luke on YT. Right here, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Congratulations to Greg Inglis on an amazing career. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.